Kia ora Sagittarius and welcome to your November 2015 Terrascope reading with me. Hi guys, I hope wherever you are viewing from around the world you've got a few minutes to sit back and see what messages are going to be delivered for you. We're nearing the end of 2015 and it's been a full on busy year for so many signs and I think Sagittarius in particular as well. Hopefully we've seen a little bit of relaxation from the two uh, heavier months earlier, September and October, so we'll see what November delivers up for you. We'll do a little bit of shuffling and see what's in store. This is the Rider Wake deck and we will use the same spread that we used last month because so many of you are enjoying it. So let's see what's in store for Sagittarius for December. Your first card is the current position in life where you find yourself. Your second card is where you expect or what you expect of life at the moment. Your third card is um, what you don't expect, a surprise of some sort. Your fourth card is the immediate future. And your fifth card is the longer term future or for us this is taking us into December. You've got a nice reading here, Sagittarius. We've got two swords, a wand, pentacles, and a major arcana. And you're starting the month off with this major arcana, the full card. It's one I particularly like. It's about um, total new beginnings at very many levels of your life. All sorts, physical, emotional, spiritual, everything. He is a happy guy and he is more concerned about himself than others and he is saying this is about me, it's about my satisfaction in my life, where I want to go and who I want to be and primarily that's the most important thing. If we're not honouring our own true selves, we're not living a truth. We're living for other people, we're trying to please other people, therefore we're often left unfulfilled. And when we're unfulfilled, we're not happy. So the fall to me epitomizes all the wonderful enjoyment and fulfillment that you can get out of life when you take your own steps to becoming the who you are. I do note that he's heading back this way, almost as if he did something in October that may have triggered this desire off to begin this new journey. If we looked at it from any other perspectives, um, oh, before I lose myself, here's the sun up here. So I think of, um, we did have the two eclipses in September. They could still be working their energies through for you guys in November, because I think of the whole eclipse here, the very beginning new cycles. If we look at it from a health perspective, any of you who have been going through bad health, you could be clicking over into some new positive health, which is also a good thing. The only thing I could say about it is be careful where you're going. Actually look at where you're walking or driving, because with this card you can sometimes be so sort of, you know, oh, I'm up in the air because I'm excited or I'm dreaming about these great things to come, that you forget to actually look where you're going. So just be cautious so that you don't slip or fall or walk into something, literally. But other than that, health-wise, very promising. So is it for finances. So is it for career possibilities and opportunities and romance. It's everything. Everything about it is beautiful. And it comes right under these two very structured looking crystals that are in the reading. The blue pyramid, which is the blue howlite, good for communication and foundations and the calcite rhomboid, rhomboid, which is also about structure and um, our inner structure. So it's, it's almost like you're compounding that with these two stones sitting over there. Your second card is what you expect out of life at the moment. It feels as though some of you are feeling as though you're trapped in. And maybe that's why you're wanting this freedom over here. It, you might feel as though, oh, I'm feeling tied down or too many people want me to do the things they want me to do. I've got no freedom. I'm feeling too rigid or structured and I want to get to where this guy is. So this is a time when you can look at your situations and your surroundings and try and break free. And in reality with this card, she only has to undo these blindfolds here and there is nothing in front. She can walk free. 
so she, she it's kind of like you've got to be able to um, see the forest for the you can't see the forest for the trees but it's there so take your blindfolds off and actually look harder because there's things around you that will that will free you and they're your inner decisions a lot of them health wise it suggests um, and if we look at these as being weeks through November as well it look sort of says you could be feeling a little anxious or a little tired or stressed to remedy those things we all know what to do more sleep eat the right foods do a little bit less take some relaxation spend some good time quality time on yourself you know think about you if you like to put your feet up and watch a movie do it if you like to go for a walk along a beach or by a lake by yourself with your thoughts do it it's very important to think of yourself at this time the third position or card is what you didn't expect a happy surprise what a beautiful card the four of wands it's divine there's happiness um, gaiety this celebration of some type events that you might turn up to it's a time of um, harvest repletion satisfaction uh, conviviality also with other people so as I said events or parties or functions and generally light-hearted and familial and positive so any of these events or feelings or surprises could come upon you and they could be lovely invitations there is also the possibility that this is a further commitment to a deeper level of your relationship that you're in with someone close on a personal level your relationship may deepen and the bond may become more special for some reason there's also the possibility even with your friends or other family members that it becomes more committed and more sincere or you get an extra level of um, attachment during this time the fourth position is your immediate future so this is basically the energies of November it says here this card sort of points out that money might be on your mind and you might be worried about it a little bit and, and sort of thinking oh my gosh you know have I got enough money to pay the bills have I got enough to do this could I spend a bit more here you know this person is holding on to stuff really tightly as if he's worried about if he has enough or not but in reality if you look he's well covered he does actually have the funds or the wherewithal or the knowledge to dispense so a little bit of this is about releasing tension again same kind of messages over here but this one is more about financial whereas this one is more about emotional so in November if you're you know worried about anything in particular I think the message for you guys is to let it go a little bit and have a bit of faith and um, if when we let go of tension and anxiety and release nervousness we can then sometimes see the other opportunities that are right in front of us and it's easier to grasp onto them or to understand them or to invocate them and actually get them into working action i sometimes think of money coming in you may be gifted a little bit of money somehow from a benefactor one way or another that's that possibility for november also sometimes travel and it might be travel for your career or job opportunities so sometimes some of you might even be going for an interview and it could be away from where you normally live and then interestingly the fifth position card is the six of what uh, six of swords and this is known as the travel card literally in uh, in the physical world so it often indicates travel and it can be travel overseas so it can be related to holidays and of course coming into December is often a holiday period for many people on the globe so some of you may be traveling in that time frame that can be travel to do with work or for pleasure and sometimes you're with more than just yourself you're with a couple of people and it can be a family the other aspects of this card are that you are traveling out of harder emotional times into calmer waters so if any of you have found this experience such as over here that you've been a little bit 
angst or you know there's been some turbulence around various issues or people or situations you're moving into a smoother period as December rolls around same thing for health so overall I feel your reading is very upbeat because of this one here and this one as well they all tend to be looking positive as you move forward so Sagittarius nice reading for you for your final card we will pick one of these chakra energy cards and we will see what messages arrive for you let's see action movement perseverance discipline and motivation i'll just zoom the lens in a little bit for you Now this is the base chakra and the energy to go with that is one of these beautiful red crystals that we have and I will read from the book for you what activity this is going to be. So Sagittarius, the card story. Cloaked in the fabrics of her passion and at one with the moment. A dancer glides across a stage of sparkled moss and moonlit leaves. She moves with a sense of graceful certainty, and knowing that the ground upon which she dances will rise to meet her steps. Her movements are free and expressive. Her eyes seek nothing outside of herself, for she follows a rhythm that comes from within. Connected to the earth and reaching for the heavens, her dance is a bridge of divine inspiration. She is the embodiment of unified action. Now the message of the card. In our modern world, with so many different pressures and roles to play, our actions are often inconsistent, postponed or not aligned with our goals. We stand at the edge of our dreams, overwhelmed by uncertainty of how best to begin. And how much alike your Eight of Swords is this message for you. This card is here to remind you that you don't need to see the entire path ahead. That is amazing, Sagittarius. You need to just clarify your intentions. Feel the rhythms of your calling and begin. <laughs> Take the first step in faith, knowing that the universe will align to support you. Consider an area of your life that you are ready to change or transform. Ask yourself what physical action you can take today. Perhaps in the next 10 minutes to assist in bringing about this goal. When the answer comes, follow it. Don't get overwhelmed by the end result or the details in, bet in between. Just begin. Once you start, you will find new energy will come in to lift your steps and inspire whatever is needed next. As you take one step and then another, you will begin to build momentum like the turning of a great wheel. Gradual at first, but soon you are rolling and can guide your energy in any desired direction. Stay with this momentum. Persevere. Consistent action will carry you swiftly towards your goals. When our actions stem from a higher sense of inner knowing, like a dancer moving to the pulse of an inner rhythm, our steps will always be guided and true. Don't wait for things to happen. Start dancing and the music will rise to meet you. That is splendid and it matches so well with the earlier cards in your reading. What a wonderful card to get in connection to the earth as we move into towards the end of this year for you guys. Lots of messages about going forward, having faith and being you know, strong in your convictions. So thank you again everyone for tuning in and liking and subbing. I love doing the videos for you. It's a gift for me to be able to do it. 
If any of you want a reading, just follow the links below the video and I'm more than happy to do private readings for you. Take care everyone, have a wonderful November, I'll see you in December. Ka kitea noa, much aroha, namaste.